Welcome, my name is Philip Homister, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you a very quick and effective way to sort through your photos. Uh, do you ever come back from a photo shoot and just to realize that you've taken like over 800 photos and now you have to deal with the agonizing task of sorting through them all and picking out the best ones? Finding yourself going through these for hours and hours. Well, I found a very, very, very quick and effective way to do this. Uh, I went through 891, no, 981, sorry, I'm dyslexic, photos of a, after a photo shoot I did and uh, went through it in like less than 10 minutes. And so I'm using Adobe Bridge and I went ahead and opened it up and the file I want to open is already here. I took like 112 pictures of my son. I was actually just kind of playing around with interior lighting, natural lighting, and uh, I'm using a, a manual lens, so a lot of them are not in focus because he's moving around all over the place, so I just had to keep snapping and snapping and snapping. So now I got to go through them, and I only need a couple of these, so I just got to figure out which, which one's the best one. So as you can see, it's way, <laughs> they're way out of focus. So. Open up the folder that you're looking for in Adobe Bridge and go up here to this nifty little feature called Review Mode. And in here, you can use your directional keys on your keyboard to look around. And if you press the down arrow key, it will deselect. So right now, all the pictures in here are selected. So what I gotta do is start going through here, find ones I like. I'm gonna start with that one. Sit down, it deselected it. So that was, a, that was a good one, let's keep that one. And you just very quickly go through here and you have to, <laughs> you have to be really careful because it's, it's hard to, you, you gotta just keep going, you know what I mean? Because if you stop and you try to think about, you know, do I like this one, do I like this one, you'll end up selecting all of them. Well that's not, you know, you wanna go through here. And you're gonna wanna go through several passes because like I like all of these. And so you pick out the ones you really like and just go through here <laughs> and pick them out. I really like this one because he's got that little smirk there. So what I, what I need is, I just need a couple of these. Just a couple of them. So I'm gonna go through here, it's so hard. And I would recommend that you don't have any family members with you at all when you're doing this because they will not let you delete a single one. So the idea is trying to make it to where it's not as overwhelming. And so, just keep going through here, keep going through. <laughs> so what did I have in here, 112, uh, I like that one. Uh, that one. And what I mean by doing several passes is, is you can go through very quickly without thinking, just grab the ones really really like now I know I have a whole bunch of that one that I just I just keep getting them keep getting them so now I'm gonna have to go through and pick the best one because it's so hard <clears throat> but here I've been doing this now for a minute or two I'm just about through all of them oh, it's so hard when you have so many of this this is the, this is the hardest thing okay so that's it I've gone through them the hard thing is when you've got so many of the exact same pictures. Actually, I haven't gone through them all yet. <laughs> Almost done. When you've got a whole bunch of the exact same picture, you've got to choose your favorite one out of like 100. And I like every single one of these. <laughs> so I just gotta, just gotta decide which ones I like best. So that's that was it. Went through all those. It's so 112 pictures. Now the hardest thing is once you come out here, you've got all the ones that you want unselected, you just delete the rest. Look, it's already it's deleting 76 of 112. So that leaves me with 36 that I've narrowed down. And I can make a folder and go through and divide these up the way I want. Or you can use tags or, or these, uh, oh, what do you call them? These filters over here, you can add keywords and stuff. That'll help you with your organizing. I'm not going to tell you how to organize, that's up to you. <laughs> anyway, you see my point. We narrowed down 112 pictures to 36 in like less than a minute. 
Um, this is very quick, very easy. Now you can take these, put them in a folder that you want, and then you can pick whichever ones out of there that you want to retouch or edit or whatever. And that's even going to narrow it down more because you're probably not going to want to do every single one of these. Just pick out your very favorites out of here. But anyway, that's. Uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. It just saved me a lot of trouble. I, I literally sat down for like six hours at one point, sifting through photos and trying to decide which one I liked best out of. Because I would, I would, because I have a tendency of taking a lot of the same picture because I want to make sure to get that perfect picture. That's one of the downfalls of having digital cameras. You could just take like an unlimited supply of pictures, amount of pictures, and just delete them. Hard part is deciding which one you like the best and deleting the rest. So part of it is just very quickly not thinking about it. Just go through, pick out the best ones, and then deleting it before you have time to think about them. So anyway, yeah, saves me a lot of work and I a lot of time I hope it saves you guys a lot of work and time too I think I hope this uh, tutorial is helpful to you let me know in the comments below give it a like and a subscribe if you want to follow me see my tutorials as they come out thank you so much for watching and I'll get you in the next one bye